to the quiet of the English countryside, where men have tilled the land for countless generations, the war has brought great changes. Though the actual battleground is far away, the call of the fighting man is heard on the home farms. Close by the old barn and outbuilding, there is today a colony of workshops. Repairs to the farms are having to wait, and all the farm workers who can be spared have gone to the wartime factories to lend a hand in the making of army huts. And now, from early morning to late at night, it's the clatter of planks in the nearby village. And another new sound makes a sort of obligato to the lowing of the cattle, the high-pitched song of the circular saw. The planks are being cut up into lengths and plain smooth. The holes for the bolts. The huts are made up into sections so that assembling them can be quick and easy. There's nothing of the jigsaw puzzle about the modern army hut. With the framework nearly finished, the smoothing off is done by an electric plane. The old plowman has turned carpenter. As a matter of fact, he can turn his hand to anything. And that goes for the young cowkeeper too. The workmen may take sides, but only to the paint shop, where the sprayers come into action. And so that you can see into things a bit more, they get busy on the glass section. You know, they say that glass in a hut makes a light meal even lighter. And so, to the strains of any lorry, the hut sections are whisked away to one or other of the camps. Home, James! James!